We reviewed the TVS Apache RTR 204V a long while ago when it was new and it was arguably their best looking and also their most powerful motorcycle. But since then the 200cc segment has changed quite a bit and even TVS have updated their 204V. Now we have this, the TVS Apache RTR 204V Race Edition 2.0 and that is a criminally long name. In this video, we try and figure out if this bike is still the best option in the 200cc segment or if you should be looking for something else. Let's get the exterior changes out of the way first because there aren't too many. So you have a lot of graphics and a lot of stickers telling you that this is the newer Race Edition 2.0. At the front you have golden forks which get these tiny plastic covers. At the back the tire also gets this plastic covering. You have an automatic headlamp up front and there is this little uh, cowl that TVS has added although it does not do anything. So it's just there as a fancy piece. You have a very nice digital instrument cluster. It's got a white glow and uh, I really like that. It's quite soothing to look at. It's got tons of information including speed, an RPM gauge, two trip meters, odometer, lap timer, zero to 60 timer, top speed recorder, time, and other things. And let's not forget that this bike comes with a 180mm ground clearance, which is one of the best in its class. And it's really helpful for those people who have ginormous speed breakers in their locality. If I were to give an advice to TVS, then I would tell them to reduce the angle of the seat slightly because Currently, while it is quite comfortable to sit on and even the rider triangle is quite neutral despite the clip-on handlebars, but uh, you see when you are riding you slowly tend to slip forward or if you brake hard then you will definitely thrust your pelvic area against the fuel tank. So maybe in the next situation have a more neutral seat. On the other hand, the pillion seat is actually quite useful. It's quite big and very comfortable. Obviously, you sit up quite high, but uh, occasionally if you have someone riding behind you, then it's quite comfortable and you have these helpful grab rails too. The biggest change in the Race Edition 2.0 was the addition of a slipper clutch, which is the first in its class. Now, I'll get to that, but before that, the bike still comes powered by the 197.75cc single cylinder oil cooled engine which gives you the power of about 20 horses and a peak torque of 18.1 newton meters. This bike is a whole lot of fun in the mid range and between 4000 to 6000 rpm is where you'll have the maximum amount of fun. Needless to say it is super fun to ride around in the city. The engine comes mated to a 5 speed gearbox and now, coming to the slipper clutch, that really makes the clutch action very light. It's very easy to shift gears up and down. In fact, if you want to stitch a fast lap together, then you can just shift the bike without even touching the clutch. This bike only lacks in the top end as there is not much past 7500 RPM. And also, the lack of a sixth gear means that this is not the ideal cruiser. It's not bad, but it's not the most ideal cruiser in town. So, reaching till 95 km an hour is quite easy, but beyond that, the acceleration does suffer and even the top speed suffers. But what is more important is how refined the engine feels. I have ridden many TVS bikes and I must say that this is the most refined engine they have produced. The engine feels smooth and there are barely any vibrations to speak of. Now you don't have to worry about vibrations. All you have to do is enjoy the throaty rumble from the exhaust. And that my friends never gets over. Since the bike has not changed drastically, the rest of the dynamics also remain the same. The suspension setup is mildly stiff but very tactile allowing you to feel in contact with the tarmac below. The disc brakes along with dual channel ABS bring you to a halt safely. The rear brake however lacks initial bite but gets down to business when you plow it hard. I was able to get a mileage of 
43 to 44 kilometers to a liter but depending on your riding style you could get anything between 40 to 45 kilometers per liter now cold start is a problem with this bike but on the brighter side it takes less than two minutes to get this bike up and running in traffic the engine does not heat up to an uncomfortable level in Delhi we have the advent of summers and temperatures are going beyond 30 degrees Celsius but still in traffic I did not find the engine to be emanating so much heat that I was uncomfortable The RTR 204V Race Edition 2.0 has taken the Apache series in the right direction. It looks appealing, packs in a ride character that is suitable for daily commute and crucially comes with more refinement and features. If it were up to me, I would like to see the next iteration of the bike with a 6-speed gearbox and the ABS option available in FI variant as well. The Apache RTR 204V Race Edition 2.0 strikes a great balance between features and price. You could go for something cheaper and sacrifice on features or you could spend more and get a bike that is more powerful. But if you want a nice and balanced meal, then this is the one for you. And as always, make sure that you like this video, comment down below for questions and subscribe and follow us on all our socials. Till the next time, ride safe and drive safe.